All right, fam, if you want bigger legs, guaranteed, we got a balloon method workout in store. And if you're trying to blow up those legs as fast as possible, this is gonna be the perfect workout routine for you. And here's exactly why. Now, it's been proven time and time again, there's really three main ways that you can trigger muscle growth in the gym through different intensity techniques. And the balloon method is gonna trigger all three in a very short and intense workout. So let's get after it. So I do a pretty simple warm up routine before leg day. I like doing dynamic stretching, so I'll stretch the hamstring, stretch a hip flexor, stretch a quad on the way back. I'll do like two sets of 10 on each leg and I'll just get right into my leg day as soon as I feel nice and loose. Now, to make things interesting today, by the way, we're doing no squats whatsoever, but to prove that the balloon method pumps are next level, I'm gonna measure my legs before the workout that we're gonna measure directly after. So this is, um, you know, no pump right here. We'll measure the left leg. So we're at 23 inches pre-workout and uh, let's blow up those legs with the Blue Method workout and we'll measure directly after. All right, so we're gonna go three sets of 10 here and the first move is so intense. We don't need to do any type of intensity technique, but you guys hang tight, you are in for some later on. If you wanna make it real intense, hold this position down here and then come up. One, two, three. Woo. One, two, Ooh. Two. Three. Oh shit. Already so dumbbell Bulgarian split squat. Probably one of the most painful leg exercises you could do. Ice lateral move. And we're just trying to go nice and deep. Don't cheat the movement. Go as deep as possible. And you're gonna feel this all the way from your glutes to your quads. Uh 10, 12 rep range in. You guys are gonna hate me after you try just one set of those. See the quad vascularity popping after that one. <sighs> Holy shit, that is intense. For all the advanced lifters watching, try to hold it for three seconds at the bottom. <sighs> Very important form on this one. I'm just using a bench like right here. As long as you're comfortable with that back foot, slide that front foot forward, knees over toes. <sighs> So that move right here, we're just overloading our legs one leg at a time. So essentially this is replacing barbell squats in the routine. We're still hitting 10, 12 rep range. Still hitting that hypertrophy rep range of, you know, eight to 12 and just placing it all on one leg at a time is really intense. All right guys, what we are about to do with our legs is straight up cruel and unusual punishment, but I promise you guys, it's going to be worth the effort. If you guys can survive this supercell we're about to do, the sky is the limit. So we're gonna do dumbbell walking lunges, then we're gonna superset it with our hands over yeah. our head, just maximize that quad pump. Shout out to everyone who says I skip leg day. Took home the gold and the superhuman games. 36 inch vertical, won the foot race. Now we're trying to blow up those quads for hypertrophy, which is a different type of training, but just cause you could see someone's calves that might be mediocre does not mean they skipped the quad day. Hands over the head. Shout out to The Rock who I got the super set from. Oh shit. So just pump up more reps, you know, 10, 15 more. Crazy pump after that, so. You don't need to do squats necessarily to grow your legs. Doing the split squats, the lunges, honestly, probably a harder workout and really effective if you're hitting that 10, 12 rep range. So we're gonna go uh, two working sets here. We got one more, it's really high rep. You know, 12, 15 with the weights and then another 10 to 15 body weight. So we're not trying to kill ourselves with volume today. Two sets, all we need. So comment down below what balloon method workout you guys want to see next. So this one right here, we're doing dumbbell sumo squats with a three second squeeze at the top. Now, the great thing about this one is if your lower back hurts when you say doing a barbell squat, 
This is a great alternative. This is actually what I did when I was having some lower back issues and I took a couple months off of squatting. So let's move on over here. The knees are gonna come out a tiny bit. Squeeze at the top. All right, so we're gonna do a little superset here. Leg extension, we're gonna do a drop set. So we're gonna go 12 reps, drop the weight about 30, 40%, do another 12 reps. Then we're gonna superset with some RDLs for a maximum leg pump. So here we go. I like to point my toes slightly out, get a nice hard squeeze. Don't rest the quads. We're just pumping out reps here. Oh yeah. So no rest. Drop the pin here from 200 to 120. Ah. RDO. Tiny bit of bend at the knees. Full hamstring stretch. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Stretch and squeeze. We're gonna power through 10 more here. This is killer, guys. You do not need to squat heavy and do basic exercises to blow up your quads. If you just have some creativity, toss in some intensity techniques, you guys are gonna blow up those legs.